Sir, we obviously are discussing these questionings also happening, as Ashwarya said, in a climate where the opposition continues to maintain, uh, Mr. Khan, that, you know, agencies are basically going on a very one-track focus. They have blinders on. They only see corruption, for example, as far as opposition parties are concerned. I'm not going to ask you a political question, but as far as this case is concerned, the Herald case is concerned, it is at the behest of a complaint of an individual who's pursuing this case that the agencies are conducting a probe. Have the agencies put a wrong foot? Have they done something which is out of line as far as, let's say, calling the Gandhis for questioning is concerned? No, actually, uh, thank you very much for inviting me. And actually, this case was started uh, on a on a claim filed by Mr. Subramaniam Swami in 2012. Yes. And investigation was ordered by a local court. And since then, this investigation has been uh, going on. There are various phases in investigation. Probably ED came into picture later on because mm. uh, uh, PMLA, Prevention of Money Laundering Act, gives powers to ED to come in any dual offense if they find that their transactions are covering so many accounts and all that. So ED, like what you are saying about the selective investigation and all that, it depends on whose investigation is being taken up at what time mm -hmm. so either you leave it to the investigating agencies to to do that whether it is ed or cbi or nia or any other agency but if uh, a motive is attributed mm -hmm. to any investigating and uh, any investigating agency that can easily be done and in any case you see all these investigating agencies are under the administrative control of the government of the day mm -hmm. to say that these agencies are purely independent, autonomous, that to me is not uh, to a large extent uh, correct. Right. Because no, the question I was trying to understand from you, because you are a former CBI officer, you must, yeah, you know, you know how the, uh, how the probe is conducted. As far as this case is concerned, as you very rightly pointed out, the case, the complaint was first registered in 2012. We're in 2022, so 10 years have already passed. I'm yeah. sure even by Indian standards, nobody can say that there has been some breakneck speed with which this case has been pursued even after 2014, after government change. Uh, but the so question I was better. asking you, so the question I was asking you was, as far as, let's say, calling the Gandhis for questioning is concerned or doing this preliminary stage of questioning, is it wrong for the agencies to have done this? Or no, did, what is the, what, was this not mandated because... for them? No, I don't know the facts of this case at all hmm. and what they are interrogating and what for they have called uh, uh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi or Mr. Rahul Gandhi and what kind of questions they are asking. I don't know. I'm not aware of that. But as far as the investigation is concerned, the questioning can take place anytime. But sometimes the timing of questioning becomes controversial. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people start attributing oh. motive because of undue delay or because of sudden questioning is starting. And that is the norm. Uh, and sometimes uh, if we don't attribute motive, this is the normal process of an investigating agency to interrogate because interrogation does not mean that uh, they are implicating, does not exactly. necessarily mean that investigating agency is implicating no, so interesting a choice of words. You're is, saying is this is the normal course of any probe. And yes, there will no, be no, insinuations I, I, on any kind of you know agency or probe. And this is not the first or only I, example. I, but let me let me broadbait this uh, to our other panelists also. So Tushar, you've heard from what, what the Congress party is saying. What the larger point that is emanating is that why should the country be witnessing these kind of protests? You know, this is brazen chaos because two individuals from the party are being questioned. What heavens have fallen? This is the first time they're even being questioned in 10 years. You also had Yashwan Sinha tweeting long back. This tweet surfaced just a couple of days ago that the ED should go to Sonia Gandhi's house and carry out the investigation. Thank the good lords that we do not have him as the president. Nevertheless, Shivani, there are two, three questions I want to ask. Has the transaction happened? Yes. Are there entities called Young India Limited and AJL? Yes. Are the Congress's Gandhi's majority shareholders in YIL? Yes. Are the financial irregularities been proven? Yes. Has the Supreme Court refused to quash the proceedings against the Gandhi's? Absolutely yes, back in 2016. 
But between 2016 and 2022, we did not see any dharna from the Congress. We did not see any questioning of the judiciary. We did not see any questioning of the merits or the demerits of the case or the time taken to investigate the case. But just when Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi are invited to questioning, all hell breaks loose. They want to carry out a satyagraha. My simple question to the Congress is, if you are so sure that there are no irregularities, if you're so sure that you've done nothing wrong, this is your moment to shine. Come out, face the agencies, follow the due course without interrupting the public uh, life, without sitting on the roads, without causing a dharna, and let the co law take its course if you're so sure that you're honest. The BJP will be embarrassed at the end of the day. Mm. But the truth of the matter, Shivani, is they are rattled. The Congress is rattled. They can talk about inflation, they can talk about economy, unemployment, beat around the bush as much as they want. But it's their party that is losing election after election. No one is even buying their narrative. So my simple question is, is the Congress rattled? Yes, it does seem so it's rattled. Shivani and this is just answer. another pressure tactic they're applying on the BJP and causing disruption to public in Delhi and elsewhere across the country. Yes.